Hey, Dalton Lane Cloud here. What's up, tech heads? So today's video, it's not going to be cloud based necessarily, but this will be the hardest course to save money on uh, that we've ever gone over. And we'll go over that why uh, here shortly. Um, but before we do, thank you again for coming back, watching another video. Uh, if you could go ahead, please hit the subscribe button and then tap that notification bell uh, so that we could get more traction on more videos. We could get these resources out to more people and we could get more people like you certified. And if you want, please go ahead, give the video a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm so we could make sure we accomplish our goal and get more people certified by the end of the year and make more people's lifelong dream jobs come true. All right, without further ado, let's get into today's video where we're going to learn about databases. All right, so I did say this is going to be the hardest um, co uh, course overview uh, we will have ever gone over as far as getting the correct resource material. Uh, this is going to be Oracle. This is going to be for Oracle Database Administrator. The most up-to-date exam for this uh, is for MySQL 8.0 Database Administrator. Um, the most up-to-date is going to be the I or the 1Z zero tech nine zero eight and then we'll also go over resource material for the one z zero tac eight 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 so uh we're only going to go over the what goes into it uh for the more up-to-date version the nine zero eight uh there is some repetitiveness it's, it's going to be the same price 245 it's going to be 120 minutes for the uh, older version uh, for the exam where you get 140 minutes for the newer version. The older version, uh, it only uh, has 75 questions with a passing score of 58, and the newer version has 85 questions with a passing score of 62. So uh, that's all we're going to go over as far as the differences. So we're going to scroll down here. It says, take our recommended trading. We don't want to do this. However, it's going to be difficult not to. Uh, they made it really hard. Uh, it doesn't seem like they partner with a lot of vendors to cre create external resources. Most of this is just community fed. Um, so that's where we're going to get some difficulties here. Uh, so, hey, if you already have this exam and you want to start teaching it and getting other people certified, there you go. There's an opportunity for you. <laughs> um, but let's go down to the exam topics. As soon as the uh, page wants to load, we're going to refresh here. It seems like uh, it's not wanting to pop up now. Okay, so the first exam topic is going to be the architecture. The second exam topic is going to be the server installation as well as the configuration. The third exam topic will be security. Fourth will be monitoring and maintenance. Uh, fifth one is going to be query optimization. Six is going to be backup and recovery. And then the last one, it's going to be high availability techniques. Uh, you could register through uh, Pearson View um, to take the exam. Uh, it'll be $245 and then 30 minutes after the exam, you'll receive an email notifying that the results through cert view, cert views with everything. If you've taken an Amazon exam, you know about cert view already. And then you could claim your badge, um, which that's always something we love doing, getting new badges under our belts. And then it's a very similar process and similar exam topics here, although it goes a little bit like into like installing is one of the exam topics installing mysql the architecture configuring monitoring user management security maintaining a stable system okay i guess we are going to go into it. optimizing query performance so you do see the overlap backup strategies and configuring a replication topology so <laughs> sorry about that we did go over it a little bit um so that that's the main differences between the two so let's get into the training so this is a, 
uh, remember, we don't like these big numbers. That's uh, is it really going to help us get five thousand dollars worth of extra uh, uh, cheddar on the table? Uh, well, I mean, it could because this is a very lucrative um, certification. Not a lot of people have it, um, so it, it it could definitely help you, especially if you're going for a system administrator type role or a DBA type role. So th this could definitely help you. Uh, a, almost every company uses Oracle. Um, so that this is a great certification to get. Um, however, it's, you know, that's still a pretty hefty chunk. This is definitely not for anyone just getting into IT. Um, but, uh, we're going to go into kind of what the their subscription system entails because uh, they do have a free version. They, they So you see free training here, but they say it's free training, but you're not really getting much for it. So this is their learning portal. This is what it looks like. It says, oh, you could go into MySQL getting started learning path, uh, database service de uh, development and deployment, and then the different roles and the different paths uh, depending on if you're going for a certain administrator one uh, exam. This is the 8.0 administrator. And these are just the different learning paths. It says, you know, 27 hours, five hours, five hours, 49 hours, 27 hours, 31 hours, 44 hours. So you're definitely getting a big bang for your buck. Uh, like they're giving you a lot of hours to digest and go over and they have different courses as well uh, as uh, in into the uh, learning pass. So it it's definitely really amazing. But let's see, because they did say you get free training. Let's explore the free training. The free training, it's an hour long and it just goes over MySQL Explorer, which is great if you're just wanting to learn about uh, MySQL. But it's not great if you're um, actually trying to get certified. <laughs> so that that's the differences between the two. You get a lot of content and looks like it's going to be lifetime access. But that, that's also going to be uh, a big hole burned into your pocket, uh, where if you don't have a company paying for you for for this for you or even helping, then that's that's going to be something we don't tend to want to do. So let's see what other options we have. First, we're going to go to CBT Nuggets. They're one of the bigger vendors that seems to have some certification on this, be it albeit um, older certification training. This is for the Oracle Database SQL Certified Associate IZ0 Tech 071. This was last updated in 2019. So this is older information for an older certificate. Uh, I do love, and it's taught by Ben Finkel. I do love uh, CBT Nuggets. This is only six hours worth of training, six virtual labs and one practice exam. So remember what I said, CB some vendors are great for certain things. CBT Nuggets is great for cloud, great for networking, not as great for other resources. So, uh, Paying the $60 a month for their pricing plan may not be worth it if you're, this is the exam you're going for. You're going for the DBA field. Um, what would be worth it is if you went to Udemy. Uh, although it, from looking at it, it didn't look like any of these were included with the subscription service for Udemy. So you'll have to pay uh, by hand with each one of these. So uh, first up is going to be Francisco Miguel's. Uh, course. This has 4.1 star rating, 251 students, 51 ratings. This is going to be for the TAC 888, the latter version of the exam. This is going to be two practice exa uh, exams, two practice tests. So this isn't necessarily a course, but it does offer some practice test learning material that you could go over. Next up, it's going to be by uh, hint, I don't want to butcher your name. Uh, this is going to be for the tech, uh, IZ0 tech 888, uh, 5.7, 
uh, exam. This is going to be the, uh, again, more practice tests. This is going to be two full practice tests, each including 75 questions each. And then this is going to be by the same instructor. Uh, we have more uh, pretty decent ratings. This is going to be for the uh, IZ0 Tech 908 exam. This is going to be four practice tests, each test including 85 questions each. So a little bit more uh, intensive, which is great, like more subject material to go over. And last, we have more practice tests uh, by our original instructor. This is going to be for the IZ0 Tech 908. Uh, this only has four ratings with 3.2 stars and 11 students in this particular course. Uh, and it was last updated uh, September of last year. So, and, and, you know, it's only got 43 questions of each. So this may not be the best. Uh, this instructor actually seemed to do a better job with his other exam uh, for the previous certification. So if, if you are going to get certified with any sort of resource material on Udemy, I would actually go with Francisco's resource material for the TAC 888. And then if you're going for the uh, 908, I would use uh, Hinad, Hinad, Hinadje, uh his resource material for the 908. So remember, so eighteen dollars here, fifteen dollars here. That's going to be, unfortunately, sort of the best resource material we have uh, for this. Aside from going with outdated information, either on CBT Nuggets, IT Pro TV, or other learning platforms, where the uh, learning material is going to be a little bit more dated. And just to give you an example, uh, we'll go to IT Pro TV and I could show you certification, Oracle. Oh, we're not even showing up. Okay, so IT Pro TV doesn't even have it, uh, which is surprising to me. But uh, CBT Nuggets does, it's just very dated. It, it just shows you how. Oracle really wants you to pay that premium for the $5,000 for their course material. They want you to, to love them, but they don't want you to love other people who teach them because then that's taking away money from them. So something that they have room to grow on uh, is just, you know, working with more vendors so people have more options. Because uh, this this isn't going to help them in the long run. Uh, they should have... Yeah, so they do have different learning uh, subscriptions. I would take the free... Uh, if, if you were going to pay the premium, I would take the free content that they offer first. Uh, you know, get the free badge, learning accreditation. Go through, do that uh, Oracle Explorer course first. Just, just to get that under your belt, see if it's taught in a way that is easy for you and see if it's something that you enjoy and if it's something that you would actually put more money to. Uh, other than that, this, this, this certification is not going to be for everyone. This is going to be very niche. Uh, only if you're trying to go into a DBA sort of role or a sysadmin sort of role and want to kind of be the jack of all trades. Uh, but also remember, the first thing you always want to do, go to Indeed, go to whatever job platform you usually look on, look up that certification. So Oracle Database Administrator, look that up. See, is, is it even going to be worth it? That's not where I'm at. <laughs> look up to see if it's even going to be worth it. Uh, Extend your radius. See see if there's even postings. How many results came back? 25 jobs. Um, it's Are these even companies I want to work for? Uh, go and do your research first. 
before you go and um go get this certification go get this information D do that first do your due diligence to see it. is this actually going to pay off what's the price range for these roles is it is is that five thousand dollars going to actually help me out or is it just going to burn a hole in my pocket and it's not going to get me anywhere uh productive do i have the other requirements for these uh positions like these senior roles uh, it's like no i definitely don't but let's go and look at like just uh oracle dba here jp morgan let's see do i have some of these other roles that or other uh requirements that they're wanting seven to ten years working in this uh do i have that experience working in a dba in environment um like like do your due diligence first because you don't want to be just getting into database administration and you get this certificate you get five thousand dollars worth of this certificate and then you go and you try to apply somewhere and they're like you don't have anything close to what we need uh maybe you could get a consultant job first you know know how to network yourself uh network and position yourself in a way where you can uh apply to these places like for example here dba consultant at amazon um they, it doesn't seem like they have they, they want you to have experience but it's they're not they're not really too keen on oh you have to have eight years of experience like some uh jobs where you're working for a bank so maybe you work on something like this work as a consultant for a few years and then grow from there but again this is going to be one of the ones that is going to be harder uh, to find information for uh, we do have some more we're going to get into the business side as well as the project management side we have the itil exam we'll go over we have the pmp uh, Lean Six Sigma, the different for iterations of that, Prince 2, and then we also have a bunch of other certifications to go into, like with Google, Azure, Amazon. We have a bunch more. Stay tuned for that. I really appreciate you sticking out with me, taking the time to come here, watch this video. If you enjoyed this content, again, be sure to give the video a like, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell and you could see more fun content as it comes out.